Podcast. My name's Rob Howard, and today I'm joined by Marcus Hurley. Okay, yeah, let's cast our BDI on um, on stuff that's coming out later in the year. Like, uh, I mean, I I I did kind of, I will say, I did kind of have a little look see about things that are coming out. Um, I'll I'll say if we if we we can get movies out of the way, if you like, because there ain't much g- going on. Really, yeah. uh, as far I mean, as I'm concerned, there's, there's stuff that I'm intrigued to, which we can get move, we can get out of the way. Um, not that great, so I'll just rattle through these. Sort of, go on then. Um, Rampage, fun, stupid film. I want to see that. It looks fun. Looks staffed. Well, that's it's already, already out. out. It's already yeah. out, but I want to try and get around to watching that. Um, okay, yeah. Um, I mean, li- likewise, yeah. I I still want to see The Shape of Water. And uh, the uh, uh, what's the Phantom Fred? Um, there's a whole bunch of things I've got on my Amazon watch list that uh, I could I could mention for sure. But carry yeah. on. Um, I've missed it, but I would have liked to have seen the Tomb Raider movie because yeah. apparently it is based on the first game. And people said, for what it is, it's actually, it wasn't actually that bad. I've heard no one talking about that film now, so I don't even know who came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I've mentioned this in the previous podcast and laughed my head off about having seen the trailer, but I want to see the Meg. Jason Statham versus the Megalodon. It's so fucking stupid. It's up there yeah. in Sharknado ness. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it um, looks like it's got a proper amount of money behind it. Though. I know. Weird. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Who did he yeah. beat up to get their budget? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, there's The Incredibles 2, which is coming out yeah. in July. Which has done the business at the box office apparently, and it, and yeah. is very good, even though it's not the film that everyone wants. Uh, it's still highly enjoyable. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard uh, I just listened to the slash film cast review it on the way home tonight. So, yeah. but they they all rated it. So, but um, the film I the film coming out I'm probably most excited to see is what I mentioned before, The Nun. Ah, The Nun. Yes, push uh, back until September the seventh. It was supposed to be out in July originally, um, but it, it they've dropped a teaser trailer for it, and we just watched it before this podcast. It looks freaky. <laughs> I'm perhaps, suitably freaked. <laughs> perhaps a double bill of that and The Predator then, since yes. it's out the same week, I think, as well, yep. or the week after. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna that's going to be a busy couple of weeks at the cinema, because I would like to see that at the cinema, because yeah, I, really, I really enjoyed The Conjuring film, uh, the second one. I saw it at the cinema and I missed A Quiet Place hmm. and uh, also Hereditary uh, is a film that's supposed to be really good that's just about just come out um, yep, yep. another another horror um, so that's definitely on my list uh, yeah uh, yeah I just said A Quiet Place uh, Ghost Stories is another horror oh, film oh yeah that's I supposed missed to be that good. that was yeah, one I wanted too. to catch uh, Coco uh, The Post I want to see Downsizing which is a film by um Alexander Payne starring Matt Damon where mm. uh, in the future they figure out that the best way to save the planet due to overpopulation is to shrink people down to five inches tall Hopefully. yeah and uh, yeah so I just I'm just so intrigued by the premise it's got okay reviews it's only got like two and a half stars on our IMDB but I'm just really interested in that and uh, I, I, yeah. just, I just I just like the idea of that um and uh darkest hour i'd like to see as well uh the yeah that was Winston the churchill, churchill one wasn't it yeah yeah gary alban got the oscar for it so i'd still like to see that too um sort you got of, any yeah more? i mean i i wouldn't go out of the way but i i want to see um the new jurassic world film because it's just more dinosaurs and the 10 year old in me wants to uh see more dinosaurs go rah and people I killed in. that part of me. I ripped it out and stamped on it. I have no interest <laughs> that's whatsoever. What, that's what watching the hands melt hair and made his tail does to you, mate. <laughs> if I want to go to if I want to go to sleep, I'll uh, you know I'll stay off the caffeine and I'll drink a glass of wine and yeah. go to sleep that way. I fell asleep in the IMAX watching Jurassic World. 
I wow. hated it. I hated it. I know what, one I thing it has it. done is make me actually want to rewatch all the original ones, like starting with Jurassic Park. That's the only thing it did for me. <laughs> is well, the only thing it did for me was want to watch the first one again because yeah. I don't. I'd, maybe the Lost World again. That was Spielberg, um, but uh, that original film you can't beat it. And I wish they'd stop trying to. Yeah. A um, couple more films I'm intrigued by. Well, not intrigued. I want to see Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, it's a Marvel film, so yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm right there with you, mate. And also Mission Impossible. Um, yep. Also on my list. Fall out. Yeah. Yes. Also. Also definitely up for it. Probably not on your list. Aquaman. Only because I thought he was the most decent thing in that film, um, uh, and I want to see. I want to see Aqua Dude the movie. I want them to stop it and start all over again. <laughs> um, but uh, no, uh, Mission Impossible and Ant-Man, uh, I will definitely be seeing them at the cinema. In fact, that might have to be a double bill because yeah. they're both out one week apart. So yeah, well up for those. There's one um, more film. I don't know if it's coming out this year, but I've seen it on the side of buses. Yeah. Sicario 2. Oh, it's out, it's out like next week, I think. Daryl, uh, uh, our mate who we went to see Avengers with, he... Yeah. I saw his wife in the basement the other night and he, she said that Daryl was all excited because he'd got into a screening for that film. Oh, <laughs> lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's really an odd one because uh, that's like a sequel to a film that you just would not Most expect there to be a sequel of. people probably haven't seen, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, it's, it's not even a superhero film. No. So how is there a sequel to it? I was shocked to see it on the side of a London bus. <laughs> I literally was going home like a couple of nights ago and I saw it. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, knew, I knew a sequel a was coming out, but I didn't. Yeah. yeah, I just assumed that was just a joke. But uh, yeah, it's got the two guys in it, hasn't it? It's another Josh Brolin thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, who was in that? It was... Uh, Thingy uh, Del, uh, Benicio Del Toro. Yeah, no, the girl in it uh, was... Uh, it was Jessica Chastain. Yeah, she's not in this one. But apparently, if they do a third, she might come back for that. Depends how this one does, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I don't envy its prospects coming out amidst everything else that's out. But um, no, I hope it does all right. Uh yeah, that's 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 just weird. It's not mm. even a Fast and the Furious or anything. It's just like a, I know. A kill the drug dealers sort of thing. I yeah, quite understand how. I mean, I've seen. Um, yeah, I'm I'm cheating a bit now. I'm I'm looking ahead. Yeah, Mary Poppins Returns does intrigue me as well. I'm yeah. just curious how they handle it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got some affection for the original back yeah. in the day. Like, I don't. I think I saw the. Saving Mr. Banks or something, which was like a unofficial sequel. I think I think like that's the film that sort of uh, as was like a bit of a primer for this coming back. I think because uh, there was a lot of interest in that when that came out. I, I thought it was a great film. Tom Hanks as Walt Disney, awesome. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a couple of films in here as well. I'm seeing. Um, I don't know if you ever saw the uh, Denzel Washington version of the Equalizer. Uh, no, I did not. That was, was actually re- quite good. That was much, much better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't hear any real hype about it or anything and then just watched it. Apparently there's a sequel coming out possibly this year. Um, it's down cool. here 2018. But I, okay. I'd be intrigued by that. I'm not sure if I'd go see it straight in the cinema, but I definitely would be interested in watching that. Yeah, no, it was on Netflix for a time, but it's not anymore. And there's a Bumblebee film, which looked quite fun. Is that out this year? I think it is. Um, it's down as 2018, but oh, I don't know. Right. Um, but that looks quite cool. Set in the 80s, he's actually a bug. <laughs> yeah, and it's not Michael Bay, so it might yeah. actually it might be, be good. It might have a plot, more than five words. Yeah, and like no horrible, like sort of Slow, sexist or panning. racist jokes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I'll, I'll get one in there. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm really excited oh, about. How can I have forgotten lo- that? <laughs> I loved it. Uh, the, I saw that the trailer came out recently. Rami Malek looks uh, absolutely spot on as Freddy. Uh, he's got the voice down pretty well, like well enough that it's not an impersonation, but it's it's kind of carries yeah. the spirit of Freddy. Um, I'm a big Queen fan, so I, I I can't wait for that. 
that's that's like this year's Star Wars for me, as far as like later in the year that's goes. Gonna be, that's going to be an intriguing film because, oh, that's such a brave film to make as well because Queen is revered by so many people. It It's almost like Force Awakens. Yeah. When it came back after that time and people were like, oh, they're doing a new film, they better not fuck it up. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, based on that trailer, I, I, I think they've done a great job on it. Yeah, well, there was a lot of controversy around that. They've changed directors. It was going to be Sasha Baron Cohen mm. originally, um, but now they've um, they they got in uh, Dexter Fletcher to to finish it off. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he did uh, Sunshine on Leaf, so he knows what he's doing with a musical. Uh, but I don't think it's his voice anyway. I think they've. I think he's miming a bit, or they've they've done a mixture of the two. So, to be honest, uh, it's kind of not necessarily the important bit because it's like a biopic, isn't it? And yeah. if it evokes the feeling of it, that's fine. I think we were having a conversation about it where we're, where I was hoping it wasn't a sort of dark and depressing look into the life of Queen. It was more like a a celebration and the rise of their triumph, and maybe with some of the dark elements because you can't get away from it because it's what made the band but you know I'm hoping it's going to be a really good cinema experience yeah I'm hoping it's a bit more than just like we will rock you the movie you know because that's what I think everyone was worried about is that it might just be like you know and here's another song set to a bit of their you know their story but yeah I think I think it will be more than that it looks like it's got proper dialogue in it and stuff so cool All right. Uh, so moving on to TV um uh, yeah, there's quite a few things coming out. Uh, there's a lot of d- TV coming out at all shows returning. Uh, first of all, like we've got Luke Cage at the time of recording is coming out this Friday. Uh, had a, some mixed reviews, mostly positive. Uh, apparently it suffers again from the age old thing of it being just too damn long. So I feel like uh, this one might be best uh, consumed uh, not in a binge way. And maybe i will just going to take my time with it uh yeah yeah yeah. uh i mean stop me if you if you want but there's a few to get through here yeah no Uh, go for it i think i i kind of just took over the movie bit and just rattled on a lot so that's all right yeah i could definitely uh cover the tv stuff um yeah the week friday after that we've got glow season two of glow which apparently which apparently uh guys on the uh movie uh the slash film daily uh one of them had watched all of it because he had an advanced presser and reviewed it and said it's like an improvement over the the first series which you know was very much like a getting the wrestling troupe together and sort of learning all the characters i think this one just rolls with it but again uh well this is the opposite problem of luke cage is that I think it's 10 episodes. They're only 30 minutes long. So it's very easy to just demolish it in a couple of days. Yeah, definitely. Uh, And then the weekend, the week after that, uh, we've got season three of Preacher starting. No way. Yeah. How have I not kept up with any of these? I feel as though I've shamed myself from Gipdom. (laughs) I'm just like... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's coming out. Seems uh, to be very happy about that. Yeah, uh, and then on uh, it, it, later in July, we've got a season. I can't remember if it's five or six of Orange Is the New Black. Uh, and then in August, we've got Better Call Saul, and the new Amazon Jack Ryan show, uh, which they've been trailing heavily on Amazon Prime recently. Uh, yeah, it stars uh, Matey, who directed. Um, oh, why are they not? Why is the post not there anymore? It's uh, John Krasinski, isn't it? Who directed A Quiet Place? He's playing Jack Ryan this time. Oh, really? Yeah, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and sorry, yeah, Better Call Saul. I think that's season four. Uh, so that's taking a little bit longer to, to uh, get to us, but I'm sure that'll be of the same high standard. And then I've basically just got a list here of shows that are I'm expecting to come back, but I don't know if they definitely are. Um, House of Cards definitely is without Kevin Spacey, so that'll be interesting. Um, hmm. I think we've got a fourth and final season of Narcos. Uh, I think Mr. Robot will be back. 
Star Trek Discovery will be back. Uh, the the Juice season two, I'm looking forward to season one of that was good. Uh, of course, we've got around Halloween time. I think we'll have Stranger Things free. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I think we'll have the Crown, which uh, season three, which will be cool because they've recast everyone. So, yeah, that'd be uh, interesting. Funny enough, yeah. Susan's got into watching that. Um, it's I think great. she saw a couple of episodes, and yeah, I've she's caught up to where I was because I stopped for some reason. I put it on pause, and then I didn't get back to it. But yeah, we're we're pretty much going through the episodes. It's such a well done series. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's amazing. It really is. Um, yeah, uh, I think they haven't announced everyone for season three yet, but Olivia Coleman will be playing the Queen, who we've seen in mm. lots of cool things, Broadchurch and stuff like that, uh, Peep Show. Uh, Tobias Menzies is playing Philip, who, oh yeah, he's been in loads of stuff. He was in Game of Thrones. Uh, you'll know him if you Google it. Um, Helena Bonham Carter is playing Princess Margaret, which is spot on. Absolutely spot on. Um, yeah, and yeah, that that's all the kind of like real big casting they've they've announced uh-huh. so far. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So that should be good. I, I mean, that'll be just great Christmas telly, really. Once the knights have drawn in, um, I'm guessing we're probably going to get a third season of the Grand Tour. I don't know when. I I didn't come out until like right at the end of last year so yeah. it might miss this year entirely and come back next year um i know it can take them a while to make that because uh, mm. of obviously all the logistics and weather and cars and things um and the only other thing and i don't think this is going to make it this year either but it's something that i you know i'm awaiting the return of is catastrophe which is the um, okay. uh the it it normally debuts on Channel 4 and it's got Sharon Horgan and Rob Delaney, who was Peter in Deadpool 2. Um, yeah, and that's just a really funny show about sort of, you know, like uh, people in their 40s, like getting pregnant and getting yeah. old and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a good show. I think Ian really rates it too. Um, but Ooh. yeah, I don't know if they've... I think I might have... It sounds really familiar back when I did actually watch like Terrestrial TV more. Yeah, I think I did catch a couple of episodes of it. Yeah, I, I think um, I think Ian mentioned it, and I just went back, and it was all on four OD, and I yeah. just I literally just smashed through it. Um, but I think yeah, they probably put it on late at night or something, you know, and they rerun odd episodes yeah. and stuff, and I might have caught it that way. I think they put some of it on Amazon as well for the Americans. Oh yeah, look here we go, catastrophe series one. Yes, yeah, on Prime, so you can watch all of it. Uh, the first three seasons on Prime with no adverts. I'd recommend watching it that way if you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's eighteen certificate, so that will give you an idea of the content. <laughs> I'd I'd run that one by Suze actually. She'd probably really dig that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah, so that's so yeah, and IMDb says twenty eighteen, but I don't know. There's not been a lot of news, so that might just be what they said. But I, the last I heard, they were writing it, so I don't expect it's going to turn up this year unless they're filming it by now, I would imagine. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's plenty of telly coming out. Uh, I, there's probably a few more surprises before then as well. Netflix will probably come up with about eight more shows that we've never heard of by then. Yeah. Uh, so, like, it's 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 relentless. <laughs> uh, <sighs> don't know i feel as though i'm struggling but then i go back and remember stuff it's like i can't believe i completely forgot about star trek was coming back and preacher and because once they've stopped you almost forget because there's so much other stuff yeah you just get hit by the next wave of stuff and uh yeah it's difficult to keep up i mean the the way i the way on my little system that i have is um i've just got like a little watch list on my on my list app thing that i do my grocery mm. list on and i just sort of have like i just put the shows that i've started in there and, I, and i'm like what's next is there another episode of that is there another yeah. episode of that um and uh yeah i like that's just how i manage it and so yeah and then like if there's not too many in there and i've got nothing to watch then i'll start a new one yeah. but i'm just in no hurry really to unless no, it's no. sort of like a weekly thing that i know i need to tune in every week for and even some of them i wish i could just sort of 
hang on and just wait and consume at once. Do you remember when I used to watch all the sort of the Arrowverse, as they call it now, all the CW shows and stuff, all the DC oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. They were like Saturday early weekend viewing. I used to basically, almost like watching a Saturday morning cartoon. That yeah, Saturday morning cartoons, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used, to, I used to binge them sort of for about, I used to get up about, I don't know, sometimes 7.30 or 8, <laughs> and then binge about four hours of it, and then go and do stuff for the day. Yeah, um, I mean, and that was how I used to watch them. I used to just stack them up, watch loads. But I haven't, I haven't, I think I left them both at like series three, so I haven't <coughs> even gone back to them. So God knows it's gonna. And everywhere I'm looking, people are saying, "Oh, the series has gone miserable." So I've got no incentive to go back. No. I've got a mild incentive to go back and watch um, probably season three of Supergirl. Which, yeah, I'm slightly ashamed to admit, but it's like my Lois and Clark. <laughs> yeah, it's this cheesy. Is- but it was the most fun out of all of them. There's a new Marvel thing uh, that's airing on Amazon at the moment weekly called Cloak and Dagger. Yes, there's that. Oh, and there's Runaways, which I've yet to watch. Yeah, that's on that's on Now TV. See, yeah. and I was I was going to look at it, but um, I've, I've just had to divorce. I I've, I feel like um, it's just been annoying me because I've been watching all this shit that looks rubbish on my telly and I'm like, <laughs> and there's all this Netflix stuff stacking up that I know is going to look great. So I almost am a, you're, like, you're, in a snobbish way. You're going to become way. a graphics whore, Rob. You're going to just, I know, gonna just I know. be unable to watch anything that's not in 4K soon. <laughs> yeah, well, like the next show that I'm looking forward to starting is Goliath Season 2 on Amazon because <laughs> that's all that all dropped on Friday. Uh, but yeah, I haven't got... Uh, I don't have the space for another show yet. I've just started. Um, I've just started uh, the second series of a series of unfortunate events, um, which I prefer because of the way they've done them. Like they're they're like each one is two parts. Yeah. And there's like ten, so there's like five films yeah. there basically. So I prefer to watch them both on the same night. Yeah, Cause, that's cause still it, on my list. Actually, I need to. I need to get back into that. Yeah, it's like it's like a film with an interval in the middle. So mm. you want to you want to consume them like as close together uh, as you can. In fact, I might watch one in, once we're done here. Yeah, uh, maybe. but you have to watch the other as well. That's what I mean. I have, that's what I mean. So like, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, if we, yeah. If we wrap up in the next like five minutes, two minutes, then yeah. I can probably do both episodes, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah I got my. I just wanted to quickly mention Goliath, and I did that. So uh, yeah, we've. I think we've gone on long enough. Yeah, that's what we're looking forward to for the rest of the year. Plenty to be excited about. I think. As long oh, as you... I've got one more mention actually. Um, Go on then. Funny if it goes back to films. Did you know that there's a a reboot in, of sorts for Halloween? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think ha- it's set I... after Halloween too. It's a direct sequel to the original. Ignoring it? Uh, all the okay. others. Yeah. So basically, it's like what Neil Bloomkamp wanted to do for Alien. Yeah, but it's by like David Gordon Green, who makes films like uh, uh, Superbad and uh, like uh, okay. Pineapple Express. It's like those guys That's doing it. That's a bit it. weird. Yeah, but it's not like it, they're doing it properly because yeah. they, they're, they're like, they want to do it I know. A proper... I've seen some of the. Um, I've got a friend who's a massive, massive fan of the, the, the series. And I've seen sort of him sharing production things. They've got Jamie Lee Curtis on board. Yeah, she yeah. Hasn't I, done I, much. I've seen, I saw the trailer and I've yeah. heard um, interviews with the guys making it because, yeah, because uh, it was, oh, who's the guy in it? Uh, he was in Alien, uh, the last Alien movie. Uh, what's his name? New Halloween. Oh, James uh, Franco. <laughs> it's, uh, who's in the cast? Not Will Patton. It's uh, he might oh he might just have like a writing credit then or something, because uh, who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of the guy from Pineapple Express. Yeah, Danny McBride. That's it. He's just oh, he, yeah yeah because Danny McBride he was in the Alien movie which I thought again was a bit of odd casting because he's normally in like stoner films and comedies, but yeah he's like a real like geek like movie geek yeah. uh, and uh, so yeah he's written the uh, the the screenplay with David Gordon Green. And so, yeah, when around the time that he was doing press for Alien, uh, they, there was a lot of talk about the Halloween thing. That's when I first heard about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it looks oh, like, 
Yeah, I don't know if he's got like a cameo in it or anything. Probably not. Doesn't look like it. No, so he's just doing screenplay, which is really odd. Yeah. But those guys work a lot t- together, a lot, obviously on the like Pineapple Express sort of stuff. But they're like actually making a Halloween film. So, mm. yeah. Intriguing to see how it turns out. I think yeah, I saw I- somewhere like a second Nightmare on Elm Street film as well. Um, it might be like 2019 or something, but it could be. Because I, I didn't really rate the first reboot. I thought they kind of made the character a bit weird. Oh, yeah, that was with the guy uh, from Preacher. And yeah, him. he was... Um, they Jackie made him out to be a, a bit of a kind of molester stroke thingy, whereas the original character was just literally a horrible piece of work. He was just a child murderer. He didn't I was care. Gonna, I was <laughs> going to say, as opposed to the lovely, cuddly Kruger. I know, but this is what I mean. It's like, by giving him a sort of mental defect like that, they, in a sense, kind of watered down the character... When he's yeah. just pure evil and just kills, um, it's worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he just taunts and murders and taunts and murders and taunts and murders. But they yeah. kind of gave him this other weird angle and then, you know, which kind of, yeah, after watching those films didn't seem quite so scary. No. But anyway, I'm just curious. I like stuff like that. Bring more, bring more of it out. Absolutely. All right then, uh, let's call it there then. Uh, cool. That's our uh, that's our um, what we're looking forward to for the rest of the year. There's quite a lot there, uh, yeah. I, I reckon. So yeah, that'll do. Dig 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 dig. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Not Watching Podcast, part of the Not Listening Podcast Network, where you can also find the Not Playing Podcast, where we talk about video games. And the Not Listening Podcast, where you can hear Adam and Co. talk about all kinds of nonsensical nonsense. You can email us at notwatchingpodcast at gmail.com, or you can tweet at or follow us on Twitter at notwatchingpod. You can find the show notes for all our shows at notlistening.co.uk, and if you like what you've heard here, please do leave us a review. Anyway, that's all for now. Until next time, see ya! Bye.